being a landlord in 2023, baby, it's like the land of milk and honey, man. These types of properties, like when I sold this to my investors, my partners uh, from New York back in like 1450, dude, this is probably like a like a $800 a month rental, dude. That's how good things have been over the last decade for uh, real estate investors in the Cleveland market. Now it's a $1,200 rental. Like one tenant there the entire time it's been in our portfolio since we acquired the property in like 15, 14 or 15, right? We've had one tenant rocking and rolling in there, right? So, you know, you got a little bit of wear and tear, obviously. You could see that through the footage, right? It's a little bit dated, right? Uh, go in there, put a nice fresh coat of paint on it. Up to you if you want to get some premium upgrades and like really deck out your kitchen and stuff. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What's up, y'all? Coming at you with another deal in Cleveland, Ohio. 3606 West 139th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, okay? It's a nice little stable neighborhood on the west side, okay? This neighborhood, you get a pretty solid tenant base over there, right? So uh, this property could work for a lot of folks, right? A lot of different kind of investors, right? This is a particular area uh, that could work very, very well for Section 8, right? I love Section 8 over here. But you get some pretty decent tenants over there, right? It's a pretty, like, stable, like, higher C-grade part of the west side. Uh, so you could definitely go cash-paying tenants. Now... This is not what I do specifically. We don't really do this in this neighborhood uh, here at Holton Wise, but I do know of other folks out there uh, that are talking highly about doing Airbnb in this type of area, right? Um, I'll leave that to you to decide if that's something you're interested in. I personally uh, believe that this area is not going to be in demand enough and not going to be like you know, have that wow factor or like that draw uh, to make a lot of money on Airbnb. But I do know of other landlords out there talking about making money with Airbnb in this particular neighborhood, right? So that's going to be on you uh, if you decide that that's good, right? But what I know that's tried, true, and proven, that's cash paying tenants or Section 8 tenants, right? Uh, we've had this property in our portfolio, dude, I don't know, for like probably like eight years maybe don't quote me on that specifically but like we've had this in our portfolio for a very very long time right i think it was like 2014 maybe 2015 uh we come across the seller local cat uh they were living there as an owner occupant uh and he had reached out to us uh, he reached out to HomeWise. He's like, hey, I want to move. I want to sell my particular house. So then I sold that uh, to one of my investor clients and business partners of mine uh, out in New York, right? And they have owned it ever since then, right? And we put, in my memory serves me correctly, I think we put like one tenant in there the entire time it's been in our portfolio since we acquired the property in like 15, 14 or 15, right? And we've had one tenant rocking and rolling in there, right? So, you know, you got a little bit of wear and tear, obviously. You could see that through the footage, right? It's a little bit dated right uh go in there put a nice fresh coat of paint on it up to you if you want to get some premium upgrades and like really deck out your kitchen and stuff like you could do this kind of a reno on the cheap right you can get this thing rent ready probably for like 10k or less right spruce it up a little bit uh get it going for like under 10k you could do that if you're doing the work yourself you could probably get it done for under 5k um, however, you could also probably spend, you know, as much as like 20 K and really upgrade the kitchen and the bath and really get that wow factor, right? Either way, you're going to get a solid amount of rent, right? You're going to easily be able to get section eight tenants in there paying 1200 bucks a month, right? This is Cleveland, Ohio, solid neighborhood. It's three bedroom house prices in this particular market in 2023 are freaking through the roof, right? Being a landlord in 2023, baby, it's like the land of milk and honey, man. These types of properties. Like when I sold this to my investors, my partners uh, from New York back in like 1450, dude, this is probably like a, like an $800 a month rental, dude. That's how good things have been over the last decade for uh, real estate investors in the Cleveland market. Now it's a $1,200 rental. Of course, a little bit has changed since then, though. Outside of the fact that the uh, rents have gone through the roof, uh, you also have new lead laws, right? There are new lead certification laws in play now. So if you guys wanted... Um, 
to continue renting this out, you would need to get it lead certified. It would have to go through the lead certification with the city of Cleveland. More information on how that process works is going to be in the notes below. I made a half hour long video, right? So if you're a new investor to Cleveland market, you've never invested in Cleveland before, and this video is the first thing you've come across. Whether or not you're interested in this particular house, y'all, watch the lead certification video. You guys need to understand the laws, the lay of the land out here, okay? They are very serious about these lead certifications, and they will apply to every single landlord in the city of Cleveland, right? So it's not just this particular property, y'all. It's all property, so pay attention to that. After that, if you decide you want to move forward, if you're out of state, you just want to make an offer, that's cool. Send it to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Cash or finance is fine. If you need financing, I have financing for you, okay? We have lenders that are nationwide, and they will work with investors who are not only nationwide, but worldwide. We have lenders that will work with foreign nationals, right? Holton Wise, we have contacts, we have lenders that are hooking investors up with investor loans everywhere, right? We have clients in Singapore, the UK, Canada, Russia. That's right, we got Russian clients. We took them on before they started fighting with uh, the Ukraine there. I'm not really sure what side of that war I'm supposed to be on uh, from like a politically correct standpoint. I don't know. I see all kinds of people arguing about that shit. I'm not really sure, but I'll tell you this. We got a client from Russia, and to my knowledge, he hasn't blown anybody up in that war, so he's probably cool. But guess what? If there is a dude in the, U uh, the Ukraine, and he wanted to invest in U.S. real estate, and he reached out to me, I'd hook his ass up with the lenders too, because I'm that kind of guy, y'all. So those lenders are here to work with you guys, right? We got traditional lenders, foreign national lenders, personal or uh, private money lenders, hard money lenders, fix and flip guys, right? We got it all. And if you guys want uh, to invest in other markets in the USA, right, Holton Wise, we're not just in Cleveland. We're all through Ohio, right? We're big in Toledo, Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton. We got some business. We're brewing up there in Detroit, Michigan, and we're going to be down in Indy. Uh, but there's also all kinds of other good spots in the USA, and if you guys need financing in those markets, let me know. I'll hook you up with my lender list uh, in those markets as well. You'll get that by sending an email to sales at holtonweiss.com, which, of course, is where you're also going to send your offer, sales at holtonweiss.com. Uh, do me a favor, though. When you send in an email with your offer, make sure you put the freaking address in the subject line, right? Guys, We, you know how many emails i get a week like somebody's like yeah dude i saw your youtube video dude i want to buy it like okay hey bro first of all fuck you okay you're an idiot i'm you know i i kid i probably wouldn't say fuck you you're an idiot because i'd ignore that fucking asshole because we have thousands of freaking videos guys if you're not intelligent enough to come at me with the address in the subject line i probably just gonna ignore you right i got time for that i've sold 200 million dollars worth of this kind of stuff i ain't got time for idiots who ain't smart enough to put the address in the subject line right so include the address okay let me know how much you want to pay how you want to pay it if you got your own financing or if you need me to find you financing uh also if you want to actually tour the property physically before you even get that far that's totally cool too man just let us know shoot us an email if you hit us up before 5 p.m eastern standard time we could actually get you inside of the property same day if it's after 5 p.m that's beer 30 don't mess with us after beer 30 but i tell you what we'll hook we'll, we'll hook you up with a tour the very next business day let's go Probably just do it hitting his head on the fucking ceiling. Yeah, just waking up and yeah, just on the floor. Chief Wahoo, baby. You could probably hit the lights. Yep, I'll hit the lights as we backtrack.
Um, not bad. Nice little basement half bath. Oh, yeah. Just like missing a sink. Right I don't know if I shower in there, but. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.